Hello, my name is Anthony Allen and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your name in PayPal using the PayPal app. I'm going to walk you through step by step and I'll also be giving you additional value as I'm explaining things about your PayPal account so you don't want to skip a thing. Also, watch this video through until the end so that you can find my online money playlist, a playlist full of videos just like this on PayPal and more that you will find interesting or helpful and valuable. So don't forget to click on that at the end. Now that we've gone through that introduction, let's show you how to change your name in PayPal. Let's take a look. Launch. Let's show you how to change your name in the PayPal app. Right here, you can see PayPal on my mobile phone device. This is the application. You can download this from your Google Play Store or Apple App Store. You will need to log in to your existing PayPal account. If you need help on how to create your PayPal account, I have a video on that that you will see appear in the cards up above right now. Now let's log in to PayPal. I'm going to tap the application. This will open up the app. You'll be given two options, sign up or log in. Tap log in because we already have an account at this stage. Remember, if you haven't and you need to create a PayPal account, click on that video in the cards. Also in the online money playlist that you will find at the end of this video. So don't worry if you haven't clicked on that card. Right now you need to enter either your mobile phone number associated with your PayPal account or alternatively leave things the way they are, enter the email of your PayPal account and then of course the password that you used when you created your PayPal. I'm going to do this now. In this next step, PayPal wants to confirm that it's you who is trying to access your PayPal account. You have three options here. You can get a text, get a WhatsApp text, or have PayPal call you. This call will have a code that's read out to you with ambient noises or different noises to try and distort the numbers. So it's going to be clear to a human, but it won't be clear to an AI or a robot that is trying to hack or access your account. Sort of an encrypted message. You can try this call if you don't have a text or WhatsApp, or maybe for some reason you do not want it. But I'm going to go for a text in this example. It's going to send a text to the number that I associated or used when creating my PayPal account. So when you enter that mobile phone number, that is where you're going to receive your text message. I'm going to leave it where it is on get a text. I won't change it to WhatsApp, but just to show you that you can, I'm just going to show you what that looks like but I need it to be a text message. So let's tap it on get a text. That's the one that I want because I don't want the message going to my WhatsApp messenger. Now that I'm happy with where I'm going to receive this confirmation code, I'm going to tap on next. The code will be sent to my mobile phone. The code has now been sent and I'm going to enter it automatically because my iPhone that I'm using has this feature where it can access text messages. So either I can use the code that has been sent automatically. If you do not have this feature on your mobile phone device or the device you're using to access the PayPal app, you will need to exit the app and go and find that text message. If you're using this device, the, the one device, the same device that you've received your text message. If you have your device next to you and you're not using it to access PayPal, then you can have a look at that text message on that device. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. I'm going to copy this from my messages using the Apple feature. You might not have this. Then I'm going to tap submit. You're all ready. Just a second. I've just logged into my PayPal account. It also asks for my thumbprint because I also use Touch ID for my account. Again, you might not have this enabled, but it is something that you can do with your PayPal account for an extra layer of security so that no one can access your account using the device. From this main homepage here where it says get started with PayPal, 
which is on the home page. So you might not have these widgets on the top of your screen. Do not worry. On the bottom of this application, you can see home. That is the page that we're currently on. If you're not seeing something similar to what I'm showing you here, including your PayPal balance account details that you can add, and of course, any courses that you can donate to, then what you need to do is you need to tap on home on the application on the bottom of the screen. Tap home and it will bring you here. From here, you want to tap on the icon in the top right hand corner of the app. That circular looking icon, it's a person. That is what you want to tap on. That is your profile display picture. If you already have a display picture, this will be where you need to click and you will see your display picture in the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm going to tap this now. This is where we're going to change our PayPal name. We're now in the profile page of the PayPal application. On this profile page, there's quite a few interesting things that you might want to take a look at, including invite friends. You can invite somebody new to PayPal. When they sign up, they'll be your friend and you can send and receive money from or to them. You also have look and sell like a pro with seller profile. So you, if you're running a business yourself right now and you want to sell goods, this would be a business profile that you would want to use. If you're running your business using a PayPal account, these goods could be digital or they could be physical that you may be selling on, for example, eBay, which is part of the PayPal family. Maybe you're running a small business or you're running an Etsy business. PayPal can be a backup place where you can sell these goods without having to log into Etsy. So that's one thing that you might want to take into consideration if you're a small to medium sized business, because this will really enhance your business. Because if somebody's using PayPal, they can buy from you when you have a business account. So clicking look and sell like a pro with seller profile is really going to help you if this is you. Don't forget, you can do these similar things with a personal account. But of course, if your revenue becomes significant, PayPal might recommend that you are using a seller profile first. Let's scroll down a little bit more. We have account information, login and security, data privacy, notification preferences, marketing preferences. Now your notifications are going to be when you get a ding on your mobile device where PayPal is letting you know about a change inside of your account. If you're having too many notifications or you want to turn on more notifications, that is what you would click. You can also look at tax documents that you may have added to your account or need to add to your account. That is where you would access that information. The message center where you can message PayPal for any help. And of course, the help, which is going to be your FAQs, frequent ask questions and things that PayPal have already noted on the PayPal application for you to read if you need additional help with things that you may be struggling with. We also have the comment section here on YouTube on this video where somebody might be able to help you if they've gone through something similar to yourself. So keep that in mind. This community is also here to help you. You can also close your account from this profile page or alternatively log out if you want to maybe log in to another PayPal profile. Now let's scroll back up and let's change our name. Now taking you here was part of the step. We need to go a step further yet because if you tap on edit underneath where it reads your name and your username, you will find that you won't be able to change your name from here. You will have location, a bio description about yourself or your account, but you won't be able to change your name. So let's show you how to change your name without leaving the paper application. If you scroll down from this place where you can see help, tap on help, that FAQ section that I mentioned earlier. From here, where it reads search common questions, I want you to tap that. Now you want to search for or ask the question how to change name. Give this a search. 
and you will find how do I change the name on my PayPal. Now this FAQ question you need to tap when you're using the PayPal application in order to access what you need to change your name. Where the blue writing is, tap this. From here, we're going to access the settings. So I'm going to scroll down, but before we do, there's some information that you will see on screen, which will be very helpful to you when you're making this important change to your PayPal account. It says, how do I change the name on my PayPal account, which is the question, the FAQ that we've clicked into. Then it reads, you can change the name on your account on the web up to two characters if it's misspelt and only once after creating your PayPal account. It's not possible to change the name on your account to another person's name. And if you are making any legal or major name change, you may be required to upload supporting documentation. Note, users can change ownership, but only on business accounts and only when they have provided the proper documentation. To change your name, and then we're gonna scroll down right here. It says, go to settings and change name. You can tap on that blue writing where it reads settings, or alternatively, you can tap on where it says change name. Now I'm going to tap on where it says change name. It's going to ask me to log into my PayPal account. Now, because we're already logged in, I won't need to enter my information. So we don't need to leave the PayPal application either. It's taken us to the website inside of the PayPal app to save you a lot of headache. It says here, change your name, enter the name that's on your government issued photo ID. The reason why PayPal asks you to do this is because there are some checks that are sometimes done in your favor. For example, if you want to use PayPal Pay in three, this will not harm your credit score, but also remember to double check when you're applying for PayPal Pay in three, because things do change. Let's scroll down here. It says first name, last name. I can change my last name if I wanted to, and I can also change my first name if I wanted to. Once you've made your change, you would then select continue. But because I haven't made any change, it's saying right here, you haven't changed your name. And this is how you change your name in PayPal using the PayPal application. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. There's been some additional value that you do not want to miss in this video, but there's more that you can find in my online money playlist. Remember, these things are updating in PayPal quite often to make things easier, and I'm here to make it even more easy and understandable for you so you can get things done and you can get that value with your PayPal account and more right here on YouTube. On screen right now, you should see the online money playlist where you can find more videos just like this. Click on that playlist or alternatively, the video that YouTube recommends as the best video for you right here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. There's a lot more that I've uploaded. I'm a variety creator, so you can find gameplays and more that are unrelated to even PayPal or anything that you find in the online money playlist. See you in those videos and thank you for watching.